Hey guys, here is the final part of the video. We have this so far. We just need to put, like, his gun together. And then, yeah, that's really it. And then we need to put on, like, his head. And make it so that he can hold his gun. So we have this. We have his tube thing. Ah, his arm popped off. Because I moved it wrong. <sighs> that was weird. Hmm. Okay. So we're done with Poe for now. So we're going to take this very special piece. Very, very special. And then we're going to take one of these. The last one. Unless you have extras. And we're going to take this. I'm going to put this in on the end. We're going to take the gun. Like this. I'm going to put this in just barely like that. And then we're going to take this piece. This piece. And this piece. And then we're going to put these two pieces together. Like so. So it ends up like this. And we're going to put this on like this. It's like this. So it almost looks like a little Batmobile. Nee -nee 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 -nee. And I'm going to slide this in here that's why we didn't push it all the way in so this is what's going to lock it in lock this in place make sure it's pushed in like this so it's flush with this with the gray piece and it's sticking out over here then we're going to take one of these red pieces just like a minute ago, we're going to just barely push it in. Make sure it's not going in to the center. And then we're going to build like a little scope. And it actually works really good. Because I was messing around with this yesterday and I aimed it at my sister with the little scope. And it worked amazing. It shoots like super precise. No one so it comes out looking like this. I'm going to put it down there. We're going to lock it in with the red. There we go. It's locked in place with the red. Make sure to try and get it flush. And of course I put Wait, did I put it on wrong? Okay, no I didn't. I thought I put this wrong. Sorry guys. And now we're going to take the actual gun piece. This is what mainly makes it work. It's got a cool little spring in there. Then we're going to take the top. We're going to put this little ramped grill. Then we're going to put a flat one by two two by one because there's studs in there we take this shove it in there pop it in and then it's like this so far cool little scope there it is and then going to turn this over to the side we're going to take this joint going to put it in here just like this we're going to put a red piece like this in there and yeah I know that that was a spot this is a, this piece doesn't lock that in 
There's a reason for that. There is a really, really good reason for that. And you will find out what that reason is in a minute. Make sure that's sitting there. Ah! Then we're going to slide this in. If you hear a small little like beeping song in the background, it's because my laundry washer and dryer they make super fancy little sounds because just fancy like that. Just the way that my washer is because it's cool and it makes little sounds. Okay, so now it's like this. You have this little piece that I just put on, and that's for holding in extra ammo. So that goes there. Then you take your other ammo, and you're about to find out what that little piece is that's wiggly for. So when you pop the ammo in there, see look, it's all wiggly now, and then when I put the ammo in there, it's not super wiggly. So that's the trigger. If you push this back now, it's gonna shoot this. And then, you simply take this last red piece, put it in here. Ah! Actually, I shot the gun. Shoved it in too far. Because you're really not supposed to put it in like that. Ah, oh, great. Now the gun is a little stuck so if you push it in too far like i did if you push the red piece in too far you can take the ammo if you're willing to possibly break it and you can shove it in through here by this little piece that was the batmobile and then you can push that out and then you can just put the good old ammo back in Now let's do it the way you're supposed to. So I'm going so the gun's loaded and all that. Just pretend that, that never happened. You take the red, and because there's the holes in Poe's hands, Poe Dameron, you put it in his hand, and then you take the gun, put it in, put the red in there just behind the trigger spot just behind the trigger or you can put it on the trigger but I don't know because it makes it easier for you to accidentally shoot it and then the very last piece pose amazing head time to complete it now Poe Dameron is complete and I'm going to show you guys what the gun works I don't want to break anything. There we go. I didn't know if you guys saw that because it was really fast. But there's Poe Dameron. Give you a view of him. His arms are really cool. I love the padding. I love how detailed it is. Yeah, that's the Poe Dameron mini series, I guess is what I'm going to call it because it was really, really long. And yeah. So. That was some pretty cool stuff that I got for Easter. This was amazing. And yeah, there's the end of this video. And I'm using the webcam again. again, so don't forget. Thumbs up if you like the webcam or if you want me to try using my computer's camera. If you want me to try and use that, let me know. And I will definitely do that if you want me to. So thumbs up, like, subscribe really helps the channel and I, I would love to get to like 110 subscribers by the end of the year. I'd be perfectly happy with that. There's Alexis in the background trying to be a pain, which I really don't want her over here now. So bye. And here's, and this is the end of the video guys. So Dan Sniper signing off. Peace.